This is lesson 5.1, representing relations. This is our first lesson in unit 5, which is on functions and relations. Uh, let's get started with this lesson. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start out with a couple basic definitions that we're going to be using um, through the lesson. So, a set. A set is a collection of distinct objects. So basically any grouping that we're going to be dealing with right here, we're going to call a set. An element is basically um, just uh, a different member of the set. So an element of a set is one object in a set. Okay. And the relation is how they're essentially related. It's a rule that associates the elements of one set with the elements of another set. So in this unit, of course, calling representing relations, called representing relations, I should say, So in this unit, what we're going to be looking at is the different relations that we have and how we can re represent those relationships. All right, so we'll dive into some uh, notes here. You're probably going to think that I am making fun of your intelligence with this lesson because it's going to be very, very basic. This is kind of like circa grade 8 stuff, but it sets the table for um, the rest of the unit. Okay. So like I said, we're going to dive into some different ways that we can represent relations. Consider the set of fruits and the set of colors that we have here. We can associate fruits with their colors. So for example, we have an apple. That's an element that we say in the first set. All right. And then on the other side here we have red. That is an element of the second set. Now the association, or you could call this the relation as we had above, is that an apple may have uh, the color red. So we've noted that the first um, thing that we had, an apple, would belong to fruit. All right. That would be its set. And the second set may be color. All right, so um, we're going to talk about how we can represent a relationship like so. So this relationship can be represented in different ways. The first way that we could have it, we could have a table like we have right here. So the table I have, I have a number of different fruits, and we have the different colors. The heading of each column describes the set. All right, so we have fruit being one set and color being the other. So basically, apple is red, apple can be green, like so. Okay, I know it's fairly straightforward. Uh, in addition, a, we can represent a relation as a set of ordered pairs. Now you guys are used to using ordered pairs when we graph. For instance, we would go over 1, up 2. We'd write that as the ordered pair 1, 2. We can also do that with um, these different elements. So for instance, we can just have a ordered pair. For instance, apple red, apple green, blueberry blue, and so on. All right. And uh, what we do here is you'll notice that there's some kind of weird um, brackets, or we're going to call them braces, going on. These are considered brackets, right? That represents each little individual relation. And these braces on the side, I'll just make it a little bit bolder so you can see, those represent there that we have, um, that's the entire relation, OK? So to show the, that the list of elements is a set, put them inside of braces. And so that's what we have on the outside there. That shows that all of this belongs to the same set. That's why we use braces. Okay, let's go on to the next page. Fairly straightforward so far. So, so far we looked at tables, and we also looked at a set of ordered pairs in order to represent a relation. We also have an arrow diagram. And so with an arrow diagram, the two ovals represent the sets. So this set over here would be fruit, and this set on the other side would be the color. All right. So we use arrows to associate an element of the first set with an element of the second set. So the arrows are going to be going from left to right. And in the middle here, we're going to have may have the color. That's kind of like the relation mapping one set onto the other. So the different fruits we had was an apple, a, a blueberry, a cherry, 
and a huckleberry. Okay. And we only had three different colors. So you'll notice that this is maybe a little bit easier way to write these. You don't have to write quite as many things because there's going to be a couple fruits that map onto the same thing. So for instance, according to the previous page, we have apples can be red and apples can be green. All right, so we start there. Blueberries are only blue. Cherries are only red. And huckleberries are blue, like so. Okay. So what we can say here is, uh, I have a little note here, a relation has a direction from one set to the other set. It makes sense to say an apple may have the color red, but it doesn't make sense to go in this direction and say um, red may have the color apple. All right. So um, the question I had for you right here is what are some other ways that we can represent a relation? This is something that we've done uh, in past uh, grades that uh, we may not look at uh, right now, but there are other ways that you can do this. And one way that we can represent relations, it doesn't really work with the one that we had here that well, um, but you could use a graph. And then sometimes what we're going to have is we may even use an equation where, let's say, an apple may be represented by a letter and we may map it onto something else that way. Okay? So I'm going to take you guys through uh, one simple example here and then we'll be uh, done this short little lesson. So example one, northern communities can be associated with their territories therein. Consider the relation represented by this table. Describe the relationship in words. So let's look at the relationship. We have the communities on the left-hand side and we have the territories. So these are all territories we're dealing with. So what we can say is that we know that Hay River is located in Northwest Territories. Uh, Old Crow is located in Yukon and so on down the list. The relation shows the association is located in. So it takes a town and tells you what province it's located in. From a, a set of northern communities to a set of territories. So we have northern communities all mapping onto territories. All right. So for example, we would say uh, Hey River is located in the Northwest Territories. Okay. Now, they want you to represent uh, this relation uh, a couple different ways. So um, we could represent this relationship as a set of ordered pairs. So the communities would be the first uh, member or first element in the ordered pair, and the second would be the territories. OK, on to the next page. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to express them in terms of those ordered pairs like the question asked. So in order to do this, we start out with our braces. So we'll have one there, and I'll probably just put one right at the end. That represents that that's everything that's in the set. And we have Hay River. Course is in Northwest Territories. Oops. We have that as being one part of our relation there. And then we have... Callowit it belongs to none of it. So that goes in a bracket like so. Ooh, this next one. Nanizovic belongs to none of it. So that goes in another set of brackets like so. A couple more here. We have Old Crow belongs to the Yukon. We have a white horse, also belongs to Yukon. And finally, we have Yellowknife, I'll just use YK for Yellowknife, belongs to Northwest Territories. All right. So that's just doing it uh, in the ordered pair notation. Um, that's just one way to do it. The last thing I want you guys to do here, I know this is hard to believe that this is a lesson, is just to make a, uh, an arrow diagram. So arrow diagram, we have our two different um, sets like this. The first set was communities. And the other one we have is territories over here. And all we're just going to show is that we have a number of different places and uh, the territory. So we have Hay River. And we of course know that it mapped onto the Northwest Territories according to our ordered pairs up there. We have Iqaluit. And it maps onto none of it. We have 
Nenezovic, and I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right. It also maps on to none of it. We have Old Crow. It maps on to what was Old Crow? Old Crow was the Yukon. So I'll put the Yukon down here. Old Crow's off to that one. We have White Horse. White Horse, of course, is in the Yukon. And what else do we have left? Yellow knife. And yellow knife is in the Northwest Territories. So, um, to summarize this lesson, let me just zoom out here a little bit. What we can see is that there's just different ways to show uh, relations. We're going to be looking at uh, us showing relations with a table, us showing relations with a, a set of order pairs. Sometimes you can use that arrow diagram. I just want you to be comfortable with these. You'll note that the assignment that I made for this is fairly small. Uh, I just want to make sure that you guys can make these on your own. All right, so that completes this lesson.